on the Madia the fire, dorms, the tragedy. Fire, that tragedy, mm -hmm. that national tragedy. You know, I sometimes wonder why is it that the PPP are known for negative things? They let's not doubt the fact they 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 have something good, some good things that they got. But most of it, it is clouded with negativity. Mm. We're always on the world front for negative things. Yeah. Just yeah. the other day, we had the PS. I noticed her phone would have been returned. Mm. The PS, her visa being revoked. Yes. Yeah. Her yeah. phone seized. Mm -hmm. But we still have her functioning in office. Yeah. Well, that is the PVP for you. There's no sort of, um, you know, Nobody is held accountable for anything. Nobody. I mean, they ain't got no shame. I don't think that the shame, shame is a word that we associate. The people don't care. I don't believe that they care at this point in time. I believe that they feel that they can buy their way out of whatever they're, they're, they're doing. And so it's a level of callousness that you see in, 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 in their actions. Right? We see it every single day. It's, it's a bravado. Because they believe that, hey, the Guyanese people are going to continue taking it if we top them up at $10,000 or $25,000 every couple of mornings. Well, viewers, let me say to you, $5,000, it can't even buy you a proper meal. $10,000, that might be able to give you a meal and a half, but mm. that's only a meal and a half. Yeah. That's not long term. So let's not be confused. Don't con be confused with the PPP and all the jump around. You know when it's circus time, you see the PPP. Don't get confused with them. If they give you the $10,000, I mean, take it. Of course. But know exactly what you have to do. These are the people who were in office for three years. And they're still in office. But they have not seen it fit to do anything for you over the last three years. But now, just about a month or two months or three months before local government elections, you're seeing roads all over, roads being constructed all over the place. Mm -hmm. Roads being um, regraded mm -hmm. all over the place. But it's not the regrading and the construction of the roads. It's how they're being done. Yeah. And the, the people who are doing these roads, I see some overnight contractors buy it in, it in easy. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, let, let's just go back to something. I know we deal with a number of topics here, but uh, I I just realized what you said to me that cash grants, uh, school uniform grants, are going mm -hmm. to be given mm -hmm. before elections. Yes. So it is very strategic. It is very obvious that this school grant is not going to be used as an election gimmick, uh -huh. mm -hmm. because you didn't even say August month. You even said July month. And, and the thing is, you know that the times are tough with people. Mm -hmm. So when you give them the monies now. So that they can feel nice leading into local government election. They go and they spend it. What is happening to those, those students come that or the parents that were de that was depending on it. They were depending on it. And now they've oh go man, let me spend it to buy something. It might not buy the school school uniform. It is just very strange. Just very strange. <laughs> in easy them in easy them in easy <laughs> but randy let's mm -hmm. talk about this madia fire yeah i mean as a mother this thing really rocked me and so last week i i couldn't come on this program last week yeah, yeah. because i am thinking here my child could have been a part of that yeah yeah now i understand how those mothers are feeling how those fathers are feeling we, we've seen them weeping openly yeah yeah how those sisters are feeling how those brothers are feeling and and rather than than being sympathetic towards these people we have seen the pvp go out there and make a big brother as if it was a bashment party they had mm -hmm. two thousand pictures i i saw somebody sending mm -hmm. me two thousand pictures with the, with the president flashing all over the place i mean this is what you do to people in their time of grief and what is interesting, Coretta, and you know, as, as the nation mourns for the, the loss of these children, the government made it a big deal to show this, you know, to show that, look, we're taking pictures with, with the families and whatever. At the same time, telling people on the internet, 
the president came on to tell people on the internet, well, stop re rehashing the story. Um, stop self-analyzing. What what madness is that? So but then you do it the same. Right. You are you are you are pushing the children into the spotlight with all the pictures and everything. And you're going to tell people on the internet to stop analyzing, overanalyzing. And you know when this came? This came the night after they took those children out to the hospital and paraded them at the vigil. I was gonna come to that. And so that that the backlash that they got from that made him say, Oh, y'all stop talking about the children. Now the thing is, Randy, I don't know who advising these people. Maybe some of our viewers might be able to tell us who advising these people. Now, these people, these children were in heat. Mm -hmm. Real big time heat. Mm -hmm. They probably had the experience of hell on earth. Mm -hmm. Children who barely got away with their lives. Hospitalized, many of them traumatized. Mm -hmm. Grieving for their friends, they were discharged from hospital. Rather than have some counselors sitting there with them, talking to them, trying trying to coax them back into coming, returning to normalcy, mm. you have them here. You drag them to the Humaniano for whatever candlelight vigil, wherever it was. You drag them there, mm. and and here you have them looking at the pictures of their friends and candles being lit no the empty chairs yeah i mean yeah it you know the, the, the students had their hospital bands on still yes and you know i am wondering if those ministers those were their children if they would have put their own children through that and so this excuse that they they gave of the children wanted wanting to be there is hogwash. No, I don't understand. The children wanting to be there, and here you have children screaming and sobbing and crying and holding on to each other. You mm -hmm. think children would want to put themselves through that again? Mm -hmm. I really don't think so. But this was an opportunity for those government ministers who did not get a chance to hug and take out a picture to mm -hmm. post on the internet. That was their opportunity to do that. Right. At right. the expense of our children. Right. At the expense of their parents and and the way they and the, the way they feel, I mean, it was disgusting. But let's talk a little more about this Madia yes. school fight. Yeah. Those are the aftermath things, but we need to we, <laughs> we need to really dig deep into some of the root causes and and even as the fire was happening, what were the measures in place to you know to ensure safety? Well, this is where we are gonna go before we get really into what mm. transpired. Now, I saw on, on social media where the Ghana Fire Service last year, November, issued a warning or whatever we want to term it to the regional education.